Hey guys, welcome back to Chainslap. Today we're working on the Dyna. We got to take the rear wheel off after all of the primary drive bolts on the pulley broke, sheared off, whatever. We're going to find out what it is. So stay tuned. Be right back. Get started. All right, well, we start taking apart the Dyna today. You can see as they showed in one of the shorts. All of the bolts are loose. I'm pretty pretty sure two of them sheared off. I know that that one did because I actually had to pull that one out out on the road. Um, and then I tightened the rest of them down like every 20 miles and they still ended up backing out. Um, so I'm pretty sure the hub's toast. We're going to have to get a new wheel. Um, but we're going to start by we got the bike up on a jack. <clears throat> and we're going to take the shocks off. So that we can drop the rear wheel down. Three quarter inch socket. It's also a good idea to stick something under the rear wheel that you can pull out so that it doesn't just drop and it keeps some pressure on your shock bolts. We've got this one out and set it aside in our trusty tray. Once you pull both rear shock bolts out, that I was able to hold my foot there and allow this to slowly drop down. You can see now we have the gap we need. And we might have to jack the bike up a little bit more to get the rear wheel off. So we'll take this cover off so that we can get to the top of the pulley. We'll loosen the axle nuts and slide the wheel forward to get the belt off. All right, so when you fail to get these bolts off, then uh, you realize that you can just slip the belt off behind it. Go ahead and do that. So we're going to pull this clip off. Right there, that bad boy. I'm going to guess that these are, you know, big, size big. I'm going to go find sockets that work for them. And I'm going to get them off there. Get the axle out. Just as I thought. Size big, one and an eighth. One and an eighth inch. Boom. Not size freaking huge like one and a quarter, but big. Now, if the old lady wasn't working, I bust out the air hammer dammer and uh, hammer that bad mammer jammer off there. But since she's working, I'm going to do like they do and use my foot. All right. Once you get the uh, axle nut off, I'm going to go ahead and loosen these tensioners up on both sides. You can see I already started to push the axle out. Um, you'll want to raise the axle back up a little bit. The uh, axle or the swing arm back up a little bit. The axle will kind of start to float a little bit and then it'll start to come out. But we're going to go ahead and loosen the belt up and get the belt off first. Once we get the wheel slid far enough forward, go ahead and start working the belt off. There it is. But, as I just realized, we're not going to want to go that way with it. <laughs> All right, like the true glutton for punishment that I am, uh, <clears throat> this actually is really easy to get off. If you feel like you're fighting it, just you need to rotate this up above the swing arm and out, and then the wheel comes right out. That was a, uh, you know, typical moment for me sometimes. But, um, but yeah, it, the wheel wouldn't come out because it was kept hitting this piece here on the caliper. Uh, and I kept fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. And I'm like, well, maybe I should just take it apart. And then I realized that if I just swing this this way, it comes over the swing arm and out. And the wheel came right out. So, yeah, roast me. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck it. All right. So, <clears throat> I got the wheel out. Um, I already found, as I pulled these out here, I did find another bolt that sheared off. It was definitely why this one came loose. Um, so let's see if we got another one here. Oh, look at that. 
That one's sheared off too. So, oh, look at that. That one's sheared off too. Oh, that one's got threads. We would have made it home. No problem. Um, so what was happening is while this was spinning around, these backed out first, right? And then as they'd come around, I'll show you on this side, it would hit the swing arm. Doing 80, 90 miles an hour or whatever. It hit the swing arm and it would just shear the bolt off is what I'm thinking happened. Um, Cause this piece is spinning around and it's backed out enough. It's sheared off. So let's, uh, let's get, I'm going to get a socket for this and we'll take this off. All right. Five eight socket. So There's the hub. Yeah, those things are buried in there. All right, well, as you can see, maybe there, the bolts are buried. They just sheared right off and fucked up the outside. You can see some of the threads in there just laying in there. So, I'll take the rotor off because it's still good. We'll probably replace the tire when we can put a new wheel on it. There she is. Next video, we'll be putting her back together. Thanks for watching. Follow along to my uh, idiotness, idiocrity, because I like figuring this shit out on my own. So, hope you do too. Hope you learned something. Thanks. So, hey, nothing obvious here. This wheel has been on the bike for. I don't know, we rode it to Sturgis in 2020, she rode it to Sturgis, put 3,800 miles on it, probably put another th couple thousand miles on it since we went home. The tire was put on it when my best friend's dad was on his way back from Sturgis when he went. Uh, so it's been, it hasn't changed. It hasn't come off like you would think. Maybe this hasn't been replaced. The belt hasn't been changed. This was just kind of out of the blue. The only variable is that the bike was down. Um, about a year and a half ago, and we just got it put together this summer and got it rideable again and went on this big ride and, uh, this happened. So comment below if you think you have any idea why this happens. Um, I am thinking about going to chain and sprocket, but I don't know. It's, this isn't a hot rod. I mean, it is, it's, it's got a programmer and stuff on it, but, uh, it's, it's her bike. She's, she's not doing burnouts and wheelies and stuff this just happened so comment below guys if you have any idea what do you think i should do